Recording in Keynote is actually quite easy. It used to be that you'd have to download and install third-party software, but now it's actually quite easy, like I said earlier. To start off, we're in Keynote, and we've created two slides. I just use generic slides, pop in some words, and this way I have. And so you'll create all your slides, and then what you'll do is you'll go to the beginning for this, and you'll say File, Record Slideshow. Now, I've already recorded once, and I'll say record again. And now that we're in record mode, it shows the red dot in the upper left-hand corner, which shows that we're recording, and it shows my slides. So, I would say my little speech about, yes, this shows that our project projector market share will grow greatly by the year 2012, and we're glad of that. And then moving along to the next slide, uh, looking to the future, our cost of production is going to be going down, and our profits are going to be going up. And then when you're done, you would hit escape or just leave the slideshow however you want. Now once you've left your slideshow, you can either A, review it by going to view, play recorded slideshow, or B, you can re-record or clear the recording. If you don't like where you started off, uh, we'll review it first. Play recorded slideshow. And now that we're in record mode, it shows the red dot in the upper left-hand corner, which shows that we're recording, and it shows my slides. So I would say my little speech about, yes, this shows that our project projector market share will grow greatly by the year 2012, and we're glad of that. And then moving along to the next slide, uh, looking to the future, our cost of production is going to be going down, and our profits are going to be going up. And then when you're done, you would. So now that it now that we've reviewed our slideshow recording, and I must admit it wasn't very good because it cut me off early. Um, but now that we've reviewed our slideshow recording, we can go to file and clear it, or we can start off from this slide. We'll go to file, record slideshow, and it asks me if I want to record from this slide forward. Or if I want to record from the beginning, I'll say record and replace. And moving on to our next slide, you can tell that cost of productions will be going down while our profits will be going up. This is great news. And we'll exit. Now that we've exited, we'll re review it. And now that we're in record mode, it shows the red dot in the upper left hand corner, which shows that we're recording. And it shows my slides. So I would say my little speech about, yes, this shows that our project projector market share will grow greatly by the year 2012. And we're glad of that. And moving on to our next slide, you can tell that our cost of productions will be going down while our profits will be going up. Now you can see that it recorded from this slide and it cut me off so you kind of have to be careful about that feature, but it's still possible if you work around with that. Now that you've recorded it, you can go to Sin2 and we'll say YouTube and then we'll skip this, we'll say next. And then from here you can do recorded timing or set timing, but since you recorded it, why not do the recording timing? Another great thing about this is if in your uh, system preferences, if you have the default input set to either your iMic or whatever you're doing to input audio, you can record a live presentation with the slides and everything else off my computer. I think that'd be pretty nice. So now that you're done, you can say clear recording and ask you if you want to clear it or not, or you can export it to QuickTime or iPod. And you can do recorded timing or fixed timing. And you can choose whether or not you want to include the slideshow audio or not. And if you have a soundtrack, then you can also choose that. So that's how you can record a slideshow in Keynote. If you find this helpful, post comments. You know, how would you use this or how wouldn't you use this? And thanks for watching.